students coming to the next topic that is the demand paging so this is one of the virtual memory concept so the cpu wants to demand the page from main memory so well, uh, if it is present or present let us see what is this demand paging it is quite similar to the paging concept so the, the demand paging is a paging is both are quite similar uh, quite similar to the paging systems with swapping uh, where process resides in secondary memory and pages are loaded only in demand not in advance so actually uh, here the process resides the process reside in secondary memory secondary memory means the disk so actually the process everything will be present resides in the sec secondary memory and pages are loaded and pages are loaded only on demand only on demand not in advance so actually the main memory starting whenever you switch on the computer the main memory that is everything will be free means that the main memory is nothing but a ram okay random access memory whenever your uh, system is on the ram is free so whenever the process uh, everything the process are present in the secondary memory so and the pages are loaded to the main memory only in on demand not in advance so whatever the page you are opening means whatever the folder you are opening so that is present in the secondary memory that uh, opened folder that will be stored in the main memory so it will be everything will be uh, stored on the basis of demand not in advance so that you call it as demand paging so the processor the cpu wants to execute suppose if it wants to retrieve a file from the secondary memory so uh, first whenever that it goes to the secondary memory and uh, bring that page or a frame to the main memory let me explain with an example there so let us take this is the main memory so main memory consisting of process p1 and the p2 two processor so each process having some frames a b c d like that and the process 2 is having e f g h so the main memory is having already it is full it this ha having the frames and coming to the secondary memory secondary memory is the disk this is the secondary memory so the secondary memory consisting of suppose a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r okay so this is the uh, pages that are present in secondary memory and the main memory so whenever the processor is demanding for process p1 that data will be stored in main memory so start at starting all the frames are free the data that is uh, the main memory is free so whenever the cpu demands cpu demands for process 1 p1 so this is the p1 this is p2 let's take this is the p3 like that so whenever the process uh, cpu demands for p1 so the data that is present in the secondary memory will stored in main memory a b c d okay suppose uh, if you want to store these data uh, some data in the process p2 but here it is already full the process p2 is already load in the main memory if there is no space in the main memory you just if if you are not using process p2 okay you just uh, send the data to the secondary memory and takes the new data okay so now i want to swap out this process so this is the swap out so whenever there is no use of uh, pages in the main memory if you are not using those frames in the main memory you just again send that uh, data to the secondary memory and take the new data so whenever this operation is over in the main, uh, main memory you can again swap in the already swapped out data so this is a swap out 
and this is a technique of swapping so it is just similar to the paging system with swapping so the demand paging is everything is depends upon the swapping so you have to demand the page from secondary memory the cpu is demanding the page from secondary memory uh, suppose when the main memory is not free you just swap out the pages that are not used in the main memory and place the new pages in the main memory so when we want to execute a process just swapping if you want to execute the process just swapping if your execution is over just swap out don't bring the pages in advance so the process resides in secondary memory and pages are loaded only on demand not in advance so that is a concept of demand paging so while executing a program if the program refers a pages okay while executing the program if the program refers a pages which is not available in main memory suppose if if i want some page so that page suppose i want the e page so which is not available in main memory because it was swapped out little ago so i just swapped out but i it is not present in the main memory but cpu is asking for e page okay the cpu is asking for e page but it is already swapped out then the processor treat this invalid reference as a page fault so if the page is not present page is not present in main memory then we call it as page fault when the demanded page the cpu demands the e page but e page i already swapped out to the main memory but the cpu is asking for the e page so if the the demanded page is not present in the main memory then we call it as a page fault okay so what what does the processor will do if the page fault is occur okay the cpu wants e page but that e page is not present in the main memory then the cpu transfers a control from program to operating systems to demand the page back into memory so cpu cpu transfers control to control to op, control uh, transfers control from the program to operating system so not like that let me write that so if the page fault occurs cpu transfers control transfers control from program to operating system to demand the page back into main memory into memory so that is a concept okay see suppose the cpu is requesting for page page in main memory okay suppose the page is not present page is not present so whatever the requested page in the main memory that is not present so if it is not present it calls as a page fault so then the control transfers to transfers to operating system so what this operating system will do operating system go back to disk that is a secondary memory again place that into main memory so this is a concept of page fault so in the demand paging we came across the page fault so whatever the cpu is demanding the page if that page is not present in the main memory so that you call it as a page fault so to overcome this page fault what the cpu will do the cpu transfers the control uh, control from the program to the operating system then the operating system demand the page back from disk to main memory okay so let me write about the page fault so what exactly this uh, page fault with an example so that i'll explain in the previous video next video thank you